Welcome to Young Money with Tracy Bissett, the advice show for young millionaires in the making. It's time for some million dollars straight talk with Tracy, president and chief financial fitness trainer at Bissett Financial Fitness. Each week, Tracy's going to tell you what you need to know now at the beginning of your earning curve. Basic and advanced financial concepts made clear, healthy money habits and the missteps to avoid, and all the stuff that you can do to set yourself up for a future of fantastic financial freedom. Ready to lace up and start this week's financial fitness training? Let's do it, Tracy. Welcome to the Young Money Podcast, the advice show for young millionaires in the making. My name is Tracy Bissett, President and Chief Financial Fitness Trainer of Bissett Financial Fitness, Inc. You are listening to Episode 162, Celebration of Entrepreneurship. October is now upon us and is celebrated in Canada as Small Business Month. This year, more than ever, we need to celebrate. COVID came out of the blue. Almost like when you shake a snow globe, it upset the world as we knew it. The range of impacts to businesses have been significant. Some have shuttered, some stuttered, some are holding their own, and there are some that are absolutely thriving. If you are a business owner or entrepreneur, please know that Canadians across the country see you and are supporting you. So before we dive into today's show, I want to share some celebratory news. Last week, the 2020 Wealth Professional Awards were held, and amongst the 12 inspiring nominees, I was named the silver winner of the IFSI Institute for Financial Literacy Champion. I am so excited and proud to share this news with you. You know that I believe that financial fitness, aka financial literacy, is a fundamental life skill. And to that end, I'm on a mission to help young adults and entrepreneurs on their financial fitness journeys. It's not about knowing everything. It's about taking those small, imperfect actions that increase your foundation of financial knowledge so you can navigate your life personally and professionally with confidence. To me, that means being comfortable asking questions, following up if you don't understand something, And as I touched on in last week's episode, being kind to yourself when you make a mistake and approaching things from a mindset of abundance. I am so appreciative of the recognition by the IFC Institute and Wealth Professional for the work I love to do. And I share this news with you today to thank you for supporting my mission and young money. It is my privilege to take the mystery out of money, open up the money conversations that are hard to have and have some fun along the way. Thank you for listening. Now back to the celebration of business owners. I have the pleasure of working with the Business Development Bank of Canada, BDC, in their consulting network, working with their small business clients. And for those of you who may not know, BDC is the bank for entrepreneurs in Canada. I have such a fun time supporting entrepreneurs across the country. I wrapped up things with two different clients last week where all the work was completely done through the COVID period. Despite the impacts to their businesses, these small business owners took the opportunity to increase their financial acumen to better weather the storm. As is always the case, we had some fun times, challenging times as the reality of the situation was setting in. And because these operators are resilient, we continued through and came out the other side. They are all walking away with different takeaways like, How do I manage my erratic cash flow? How do I price my products to be profitable? The answer to why can't I get a steady paycheck and so much more. For me, the biggest thing they are taking away, though, is the increased confidence in their financial knowledge, a better understanding of the financial position of their companies, and this newfound confidence to ask questions and take control of their financial situations. I guided them on this journey, but they did all of the hard work to get there. So super shout out to these rock stars, Ed, Sandy, Linda, and Anna. Do you commingle your personal or business expenses? Do you run your business from your bank account or defer to your bookkeeper or accountant for financial matters? If you do one or all of these things, the live Biz Money Mistakes Masterclass, Top 3 Mistakes to Avoid and How to Take Control of Your Business is for you. This live training has been specifically designed for entrepreneurs with sales in the six to seven figure range who want to proactively change the way they are handling their money matters and navigate the current environment with success. 
So if you are an entrepreneur with sales at these levels and want to make informed, powerful money decisions, you do not want to miss this important class. Head over to the show notes, check out the link. It's bizmoneymistakes.com so you can register today. Stop waiting for things to change. Take back control of your business and join me for the live Biz Money Mistakes Masterclass. I wanted to share a few fun facts with you about entrepreneurship and a couple of things I know to be true. So did you know that small business in Canada is actually really big? with 1.2 million small and medium-sized businesses across the country. And of those 1.2 million small and medium-sized businesses, 98% have less than 100 employees. There are nearly 45,000 new entrepreneurs a year, and the fastest-growing segments for entrepreneurship are women over 50, young adults, and newcomers to Canada. So really interesting to see how that landscape plays out. Now, I want to share a secret about what small business owners are doing right with you. I see this regularly. I have the pleasure of sharing this with every one of the entrepreneurs that I work with, and it is wonderful to see their reactions when I do. The secret is, if you have been in business for more than three to six months, you know how to manage cash flow. So let me repeat it so it sinks in. If you have been in business for more than three to six months, you know how to manage cash flow. You may not fully understand the cash flow cycle of your business, talk about it in the way that I do, or even manage it efficiently, but you do know how to do it. So based on my years in commercial lending and risk management, I have seen businesses go under in as quick as 90 days. So trust me when I say you are doing something right. Please celebrate this victory and give yourselves a pat on the back. For those who are aspiring to become business owners, whether full-time or on the side with the side hustle, I cannot impress upon you how important it is for you to do a business plan. It is critical to validate your idea for your product or service with the market. And so this validates not only who is your target client, but how much are they willing to pay for what you have to offer. I see too often that entrepreneurs are so excited and they dive right in without doing this step. And so when you do the plan, you're able to see, is my idea going to work? You may find out that you need to pivot. And sometimes you actually find out that your idea is not viable. And to me, all of these are successful outcomes of the business plan. Please remember, everything's going to take longer and cost more than you think. So you need to be planning for that. So I celebrate those who are going out there and building those business plans to validate the ideas before they actually take that leap. 2020 has been a year. And while we are all weathering the pandemic, we are not in the same boat. I've been so inspired by the entrepreneurs I have seen that are figuring out ways to make their businesses not only survive, but thrive. Well done and congratulations. I want to take the time to thank Kristen Harcourt for leaving a five-star review for Young Money. Kristen says, well done, great podcast. I appreciate Tracy's enthusiasm, knowledge, and passion around finances. She asks her guests really good questions that offer a lot of insight to the audience. Now, you know, this show is all about and for you, you young money listeners. I so appreciate you making time in your life to tune in to advance your financial fitness journey. If you are enjoying the show, I would so love for you to leave a review too. Thank you for joining me for episode 162, Celebration of Entrepreneurship. Remember, if you are running a business, you are strong and resilient. You know how to manage cash flow and you should be celebrating your successes this month. If you are thinking about starting a business or a side hustle, take the time to do the business plan to validate your idea and target market. Please tune in next week to hear the story of an amazing young entrepreneur in our small business spotlight, Naima Gyalmo, founder of Social Sherpa. Until next time, take good care and stay financially fit. Hey, thanks for tuning in. To all you millionaires in the making out there, if you love this podcast, please subscribe on iTunes to keep your financial fitness training going. Oh, and leave us a review. And be sure to visit Visit 2 S's, 2 T's, financialfitness.com to take your free financial fitness assessment. Find out how financially fit you really are. See you next week, young millionaires-to-be.